What is up everybody, it is Og here, back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a safe spot for SMCath. Now you might be wondering why are we looking at BRD footage if we're going to be looking at SMCath? And that is because I wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of some of the upcoming footage that we're going to have, and some of the strategies that we're going to be walking through in the upcoming weeks. It is time to delve into the 50s to 60s dungeons, so we're going to be taking a look at BRD and Strat in some of the most common ways, some un new unique ways to farm them, and figure out what the best possible way is to get from 50 to 60. So if you guys are interested in those, by the time the videos are posted, I'll be linking them up above in this video, and I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of XP we can get. But let's jump back in to SMCath. All right, so we're back in SMCath here, our favorite spot to be, and I wanted to respond to some questions that viewers were getting and include those kind of things in my videos because I know that they were asking for them in SMK. So I wanted to show you guys as well. So first I'm going to show my gear. Now I did get a couple extra pieces of gear from before. We got the Netherwind crown and we also picked up some frost resistance rings. Highly, highly recommend getting some frost resistance because it really helps with the RNG of getting the frost bolts. Now I'm going to just show you my spec. I've showed this a couple times, but it is basically my mana regen spec that I have in my video, which I'll link above with the one exception where I decided to go for one point into Arcane Resilience instead of four points into clear casting. All right, so we've done this pool a lot of times, but it's gonna look in reverse. Now, there's a reason for that, and I'll tell you guys later, but I had a friend of mine come into the stream, and he was like, yeah, I have an idea. Uh, I think that there's a safe spot in SM. So shout out to Kid Wonderful for showing me this idea. He actually recorded it on YouTube and then gave it to me and said that I should go post it on YouTube. So I'm giving it to you guys. Always wanna bring you guys the best possible way to do things. And this is actually a way to do things without any limited vulnerability potions. You don't need iron grenades. You don't need anything, guys. You can literally do this with zero requirements. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Now, this is even a sloppy run. So you guys are gonna see some entertaining footage and some recoveries kind of thing that went on. But at the end of the day, this is the same exact run that we're doing just in reverse. Instead of going in and going around the left side, we're going around the right side and we're just reversing the whole place. Now the reason being is this safe spot actually only works on one side of the waterfall. And it's really weird. And my first video that I recorded, I ran my normal route and I was running. I was like, oh wow, this is great. And it was a perfect run. like. Literally could be any better. And then they just didn't, the safe spot didn't work. And I'm like, what the heck? And so it turns out that it only works on one side of the waterfall, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But as you guys see here, my mana is actually getting kind of low. I'm at 25% mana and I've already used my mana gem. So this is about as bad as it could go so far. And it's about to get a lot worse. So I want to talk to you guys about how you can handle some unfortunate situations like right now when you get frostbolted. So I got frostbolted here and I didn't even have Nova up. So the first thing I wanted to do was jump and turn and Kona cold. Now, if you have an iron grenade, throw the iron grenade. That's the first thing you want to do. But I wanted to show you guys without any requirements. So no iron grenades, no anything of that. Able to recover. We got off the frost Nova. We kept on running and we were able to recover from that. Now, something a little bit different here than what I do in my typical videos. Now, most of the time, when I come around this top bend, I would stop right around here. Now, it would be in reverse, so it would be facing the opposite direction, but I would stop right about here. I'd block, let them all coalesce, just to save some time, but also because I don't want to risk the chance of a frost bowl or an arcane slow if I try to go all the way down to the stairs, right? What you'll see here, though, is that I do risk that. Now, why do I risk that? One, so we can get to the safe spot. And two, it's not actually that risky once you have your frost resistance and once you have a PvP trinket. I don't have the PvP trinket. I highly recommend getting it. This is how you can do the safe spot. Now, I'm going to bandage up because this was as sloppy as possible for the run. Like, I almost thought I got down to 15% HP with nearly zero mana. But I was able to recover. We got off a little bit of bandage and we block right here. Now you're gonna see all the mobs come right behind here. Now this is what I'm talking about before. This does not work on this side of the waterfall. If you try on this side of the waterfall, this will not work. So you need to be doing it on this side of the waterfall. You could do the standard run like normal, but it's gonna be a lot riskier if you run 
up and to the right, then come down and then try to cross all the way back over. So I just recommend doing it in reverse for my previous videos and it'll be a lot easier for you. All right, so what's gonna happen is that we're gonna come out of block. And now if you're familiar with DM East, this is gonna look very familiar because this ledge acts as a barrier and causes them to run back and forth. They can't get off of this side of the platform. I don't know why they can get off of this side of the platform, but they can't get off of this side. I don't know. Regardless though, if you jump off, they immediately start running back. And so what you can do is literally just go up and down and up and down and up and down, and they'll just keep on running back and forth. So here, they just start running right back to me. Now you notice I didn't use any limited vulnerability potions. I didn't use any iron grenades. I didn't use, the only thing I used was a major healing potion because I almost died, but that will very, very rarely happen. That was horrible RNG. But look at this, guys. This is a very, very easy safe spot. Maybe if you don't have great gear, maybe if you're still getting used to the pool, this is a great option for you guys. The other thing too, even if you get like a resist, you just let that resist come a little bit of the way to you, and then you just jump off here, and then the resist runs right back through the mobs that you have Nova, and you just blizzard them. So it doesn't even matter if mobs get resisted, because you can just keep them slowed right there. Okay, so there's one thing that I wanted to talk about, and that was how far back can you run on here? Now, if you run too far back, what's going to happen is if you let all these mobs get here, they're actually going to try to run off this backside to get to you. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you stop right about halfway and you don't let the mobs get more than halfway down this line, basically, you think of. So as long as they don't get past pretty much these like hedges right here, they'll start running back this way and coming here. But I recommend just doing one blizzard and then back up, one blizzard back down, one blizzard back up. Probably the easiest way to do it, guys. All right, so let's jump into some of the loot. I've had some requests throughout the videos to show what the loot's actually like, and I guess it's satisfying. So we're showing some of the loot, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my general window so, you, so I can show you guys some of the actual gold drops, because it's actually pretty wild to think about. Now, when you're splitting this amongst four people, it doesn't seem like a lot of silver coming through. When you're going just by yourself, I just had an 18 silver gold drop, and I'll pull that up in just a second here. Look at that, an 18 silver gold drop. And that's just commonplace. Look at this, 12 silver. This is insane raw, raw gold, guys. I mean, you're seeing I'm already up over a gold, and we're through about half of the mobs. Definitely, or probably about two gold by now, and we're through half of the mobs. And then they also drop some decent epics. Like Bow with Searing Arrows goes for about 80 gold. Bunch of blues that go for about 10 gold. You can get the Scarlet Leggings, sell decently at least. There's a lot of good drops in SM, guys, for you to farm. And then also if you're selling the power leveling runs. Personally, there's a guy on my server who sells power leveling runs for 10 gold per SM calf plus armory. And so I just had a new personal record of 7 minutes and 35 seconds. So that means if he could sell it and do it that fast, he would be making 40 gold in 7 minutes and 35 seconds. Like, the money in SM is actually insane. This run, with everything included, only took 3 minutes and 38 seconds. Even including coming down here and using the safe spot method. So guys, SM is still way up there as one of the best farms. This is the safe spot that you guys can use, and hopefully it helps you guys if you're having trouble with staying alive and you don't want to spend money on limited and vulnerability potions. This can be a solution for you guys to be able to speed up your runs and be more successful. All right, everybody. So I wanted to include an extra little tidbit here. And so I wanted to show what it would be like if a mob resists. I mentioned this very briefly about how you could jump off and jump back on, but I wanted to show you guys actually in real time. So here we have two mobs that just either came out of nowhere or resisted. And so there's two additional mobs that are running through. And now what we decide to do is just as we said, they got a little bit closer to us up here and you can see that they're now all the way up in the back and they hit us a couple times we jump off and then we just go right back into our blizzard rotation and what happens is that they run right back through all these mobs and just get caught up in the mess and there's nothing that they could do you don't need to worry about resist even if it's a defender he can't kick you because he's running back down the path even there right there we had another five mobs that just broke through what do we do hop back up right back to it 
So guys, this is just an easy way to keep on going back and forth. No matter how mobs, how many mobs resist, you can make it through. Maybe even there, we just had five. So we end up, I'll just show you guys, we close this out with all these mobs dead. It was another about three minute run. It's ridiculously fast. And honestly, now you're back at the start of the instance, ready to go over into SM Armory. And you didn't have to spend two gold and limited vulnerability potions. So this is actually a really good strat. I highly recommend you guys use this. Thank you again to Kid Wonderful for showing it. And I hope this helps you guys out. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment below to let me know so. And if you guys have any other ideas for any other videos, please let me know in the comments below. Also, check out the description for the Twitch where I do all this live. And also for my Twitter and Discord where you guys can be notified of any future updates and when I'm going to go live on stream. So I'll see you guys in the next video.